Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to go over exactly how to add a title or a hook title. These viral titles that you see in the beginning of short form content. And guys, it's actually quite simple here in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna be going step by step exactly how I do it in all of my videos that I ever make. But guys, before we get into this video, if you are new here, my name is Ryan and I help editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And I actually sell packs to help editors speed up time while editing. So if you wanna check out the creator bundle down below, it has everything you need to save time. And also, pre-anime V2 just released, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that works in this tutorial. But guys, without further ado, we are going to hop into DaVinci Resolve right now. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I have this video in here as an example, but this is actually really simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the titles, and we're just gonna grab a text plus and slap that on the front. And then we're also gonna grab a regular text and slap that. But we're gonna deactivate this one by hitting D. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna make up a title, biggest and then mistake of my life, right? So I'm gonna come here to the to the font and I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna search G-O-T, which is gonna get me my Gotham Ultra text title and my favorite text title that I like using. I'm gonna come over to the shading and select two, which is the red outline. I'm gonna enable it. I'm gonna turn the thickness all the way up and I'm actually just gonna change this color to black. Now I'm gonna go to the fusion page of this title selected and I'm just gonna hit a glow, a shift space glow. And uh, I'm actually going to come to this drop down menu and hit 200 so I can see what this looks like. So with this glow, we're gonna bring this glow like like so, and then this glow kind of towards the, the middle to kind of bring it down. Now to tie this all in, we're gonna hit shift space and search for a drop shadow, add that in and turn the shadow strength all the way up, the blur all the way down, and then just turn the drop distance as close as possible. So now that we have this black and white kind of text effect, I'm gonna highlight all of these effects and kind of bring them over to the right like so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit template, right? And in the Fusion page, I'm gonna come over to this text button and I'm gonna double click with my mouse in this text box and hit character level styling. Now this is where everything will be done. So once you hit character level styling, you'll have modifiers be opened up into another tab. So you can just hit modifiers now. And now this free game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this biggest and I'm simply just going to crank the size up just like that. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna to come to the color and change it to a nice blue. And what we can even do here is kind of separate those two and bring them like that and even highlight these two themselves and scale them up just a little bit. But I kind of like the smaller look like that. Just makes it look a lot cleaner. And then they work best with longer titles. So you could even say like biggest mistake of my life. So now we have a separate text title so we can highlight this can't and just make it just as big just like that. You can kind of play around with this sizing, but I'm just gonna leave it just like this. Now we already have the title complete and, and like that you could alone run with this if you want to, but now we wanna add our secret sauce to it. So come back to the tools and under template, we're just gonna search for a brightness slash contrast. Put this in the very front and just crank that gain up all the way. With the brightness, we're gonna hit this rectangle node and we're simply just going to place it above this and then take the angle and put it at an angle. Now we're gonna come about to frame 40 and I'm gonna bring this to the top and I'm gonna hit a keyframe and then go to frame 75 and then just swipe it through just like so. Come to the spline, rectangle one, zoom to fit. That's what that zoom to fit is. And then hit command A on your keyboard to highlight these two and then just hit S on your keyboard. That'll smooth it out. So now if we look at this, we have a nice, Nice glow effect. If you want it to go faster, you can. And now also one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that this is good by just adding a soft edge to really tie it all together. So just like that. So now I'm gonna bring this down and now we're gonna turn on this basic title and we're gonna delete that basic title. Now I'm gonna hit this world button on my keyboard, the FN button, and I'm on Mac. So I'm able to create these or pull up these emojis. And so I'm just gonna put this emoji right here and command C, command B. So I have two of them and I'm just gonna bring it like this, just like right there, maybe a little more down. And then I'm gonna highlight these two together and that's ads are and then I'm gonna highlight both of these clips and I'm gonna cut it at about right there. So highlight both these clips, make a compound clip and create this compound clip. Now, as you can see, there's no animations yet. And then they, we have the glow effect and then it just kind of disappeared, right? So, so this is what it looks like. Just nothing crazy, just a glow effect. That's all we have. 
So to spice this up, we're gonna go to our effects panel right here and scroll down. And this is where pre-animate V2 is gonna come in. So go to the first link in the description to buy pre-animate V2 if this is what you're looking for, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this works. So all I want it to do is animate up and then down. So I'm gonna search for my up and down animation. So I have up, down, V2. So I'm just gonna apply that to it. And then as you can see, it instantly auto animates up for us just like that. And then as you can see, it is going to swipe through the glow effect. And then it literally just shakes for me too. It's the Graves plugin. And then not only that is it's going to auto animate down off the frame as well. And then it's that simple. That's how pre-animate works. And that's how simple animation is. I literally just did that animation in like one second. Go get pre-animate. It is time saving. But other than that, how to use the actual text titles. That is how it works, guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope that you guys learned how valuable pre-animate V2 actually is. So if you guys want pre-animate V2 or the creator bundle, which has pre-animate in it as well for a bundle for the price of one pack, go click the link in the description. And if not, you learned how to use make a text title. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.